Thanks for staying with us. Now let's bring you some more news and updates from the city and the state. Looks like today was uh, the big day for the DMK in the state of Shekhar Babu, the sitting MLA from North Chennai for uh, the AI. DMK previously brought a smile to the face of uh, the state supremo, Karananidhi. The day closed with some more good news for the Dravidian party. The Youth Congress president met uh, the DMK patriarch today at his residence and uh, thanked him for renaming the city government hospital as the Rajiv Gandhi government hospital. Now, in a case of uh, ill treatment by the police force, a 30 year old woman has been admitted to a district hospital after suffering heavy blows to her chest and body by a policeman who was uh, booking her for questioning. The cops had gone over to the wrong address and arrested her in a case of mistaken identity. She has now complained of uh, assault and molestation. She said she was picked up by two policemen and they took her to the Dindivanam police station. She also claims that she was uh, sh sexually assaulted and is currently undergoing treatment at the Panruti General Hospital. Now a dump site on the old Mahabalipuram road amid a cluster of homes and IT offices has been posing as a major problem for the people around the spot. Our reporter Krishnamurti scoops out the reason behind it and a possible solution to it as well. If this looks like a garbage dump to you, well you're mistaken. This is the busy OMR stretch where there are a lot of swanky IT buildings in the vicinity. Now imagine breathing the smoke emanating from burnt garbage day in and day out. That's what about 500 residents living in the vicinity are being, have been put through for over a month, yet nothing has been done to resolve it. That smoke, it gets covered through the entire area as well as outside the atmosphere as well as inside the house. And because of this, already I'm being an asthma patient, I have continuous breathing problem and none of my treatment gives me relief. <laughs> This piece of land became a dump site and both residents and regular commuters around this spot near Kandanjavadi battle heavy smoke from burning garbage every day. The residents say their complaints to authorities to stop the dumping of waste and setting fire to it has not seen any response. When NDTV Hindu contacted the Kotivakam Panchayat, its president promised he would take action. Well, that promise certainly addresses the worries of the affected people. But how soon will the authorities act? One has to wait and see. In Chennai with Krishnamurti, this is Divya for NDTV Hindu. Now, as India prepares to mark the anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi's assassination 63 years ago, a group of children here in Chennai are holding a peace mela. The children will also take part in a procession tomorrow along the Marina Beach to spread the message of peace. Peace was the message the children here expressed in many forms. With symbols and images identified with peace, they highlighted Mahatma Gandhi's ideology of non-violence. If I see them polluting, I'll tell them to prevent it and do it some other way. Like if you're going in a car which pollutes, you can get that kind of filter in which the smoke does not come out. The workshop was not just about the need for peace, but also about empowering the children to spread the message. 
and the process is about getting young people to think about what is peace and what is violence in my life. That children feel very disempowered in their lives. It's like the government must do something, the parents must do something, the school must do something, the family must do something. But I was always focused on what can you do. It is everyone's wish to live in a peaceful world. But that's not what we see around us now. The Peace Mela by Children, let's hope, will spread the message across communities for a better world. In Chennai, Pratiksha for NDTV Hindu. Well, moving on, call it barbaric, shocking or even unimaginable, but a sham university has had its way in tracking Indian students in the U.S. Literally, even as there are reports of hundreds of Indian students in the U.S. facing the prospect of deportation after the Tri-Valley University was raided and shut by U.S. authorities, disturbing video footage has emerged that suggests that some students have been fit with radio tags called RFID. That's Radio Frequency Identification. Um, this is to electronically monitor their movement and ensure they do not go underground or missing. No student has spoken about this, nor have uh, the authorities confirmed it, but a student's uh, committee chairperson of representative body of Telugu Americans has said the passports of several students has been impounded and the navigation devices have been put to ensure that they do not leave the area. Human rights activists are aghast uh, that they, this should happen in a country like the U.S. that too, while dealing with students whose guilt is not even proven, considering even known criminals are not treated like this. In the latest on the turmoil in Egypt, security officials say at least 35 have died in this week's unrest, including 10 policemen. Thousands of people have been marching to Tahrir Square in the heart of Cairo, chanting slogans saying President Mubarak must go. There are reports of protests from all over the Middle Eastern nation and um, the, the internet all over Egypt is down as well. Egyptian state television says uh, cabinet has resigned after days of anti-government protests. Meanwhile, in Suez, soldiers are on the streets after the city police uh, and authorities really fled from the area following Friday's violence in which the main police station was burnt down. The United States of America may review aid to Egypt based on events in the coming days. Egypt is the fourth largest recipient of American aid after Afghanistan, Pakistan and Israel. Now up ahead on the bulletin after Shera, it's now the turn of dear old Stumpy to win our hearts. So what's up his sleeve this time around? Find out when we come back.